start. <laughs> That's Good movie. Hashtag reality. Uh, is hashtag part of it? Or you yes, it is. Hashtag no, reality. Yeah. Yeah. Go check it out. I'm one of the stars. Okay. It's a great movie. We're starting with Clay's new home. Clay to Dallas on a three-year, $50 million deal, according to Woj. Uh, he also, according to Woj, he had offers for four years, but he wanted to sign with the Mavs, partly because of state taxes, partly because he wants to win another championship. Brew your reaction. I love it. I love it. It looked like it was coming down to the Lakers or Mavericks. And yeah. look, I, I said Friday, Lakers go get Clay. I thought yeah. it would have been a great move for them. You did. But for Clay, I like this better. They're, Dallas is closer. I'm sure he wants some retribution with the Warriors, mm -hmm. right? And what better way to do it than to win ring number five somewhere else? And so I think Dallas has a much better chance than the Lakers are doing it. He would have been a nice little third guy with uh, AD and LeBron, but they're ready. And I like what Dallas has done this offseason, getting Quentin Grimes. That's more three-point shooting. Yep. Obviously, Clay gives them three-point shooting. With Kyrie and Luka, now I, I'm wondering if they'll play a little differently next year, but with Kyrie and Luka, two ball-dominant guys, you need a guy that can score in bunches mm -hmm. without having the ball a lot. Obviously, that's Clay Thompson. Look, he averaged 18 points and 39% shooting from three. So everybody wants to act like he's done. Yep. He's not. So this is a great move for them, give some more veteran leadership. They're, I like what they're building around Luka. Like, you got Kyrie, who's won a championship. Now you've got Clay, who's won several championships. Oh. He can even talk to Luka about how you defend, even though you're not going to be a great lockdown defender. Steph did this. Talk a lot, just be in the right position. He can help Luka with all that. So this is a fantastic move. I mean, it's a great house. fit. And I remember... I think I talked with you about it, Brew, years ago. It might have been when, before the Lakers, when LeBron went to the Lakers, before they got Anthony Davis. And we were kind of, we were talking about the perfect fits alongside LeBron James. Oh, yeah. And it, AD was one of them. And Klay Thompson was Absolutely. one of the first guys we mentioned. It's not that he's the best player in the league, even pre-injuries, but as far as fit. Yeah. Well, there's no player in the league that plays offensively as similar to LeBron as Luka does. And they now have, again, a lesser version, but uh, they have Klay Thompson. Mm -hmm. To yeah. spot up, to hit threes, you know that if you were on the Mavs, you are going to be spoon-fed open three-pointers and still, even post-injury, catch-and-shoot threes. Yep. Clay's one of the best in the league. I understand his final game with the Warriors. Whatever. He's 0 for 10. It was a sad performance. But the second half of last year, he played much better than he did the first half of it. So, I, I for the Mavs, I really like it. I am baffled. There you go. At the total inability of Rob Palenka to get anything done ever. You had a scenario you where just praise him a I, week I, ago? I thought they made a good draft pick, but the thing is you have to pick somebody. And so that is not landing a plane. That is he I, fell I to do. Him. He, fell he did to fall to him, him. and again, I think that was a smart pick, right. and I give praise words too. But you have a scenario where the greatest player of his generation, in my opinion, the greatest player ever, says, you know what? I'll take a pay cut. You have a scenario where a player clearly wants to stick it to his former team in Golden right. State. The Lakers are closer to rivals to the Warriors than the Mavs are, and even if the Mavs are closer to contending, the Lakers beat them in the last playoff series they were in. His daddy broadcasts the games, and they're That's on, they're on the water. They're, 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 they had, those they, they, all they have all those the things. Water, the water you have thing all those things yeah. going yeah. for you. And I understand people are like, oh, California state tax. Clay's used to it. Yeah, he's tired. I mean, Clay, maybe. <laughs> but the state tax thing falls a little hollow. Uh, this is a nice a little chunk hollow. Of money, I understand it that. Is a nice but chunk. I don't think that's the deciding factor. If you have, you said it right before we went on the air, Brew, and maybe you said it in your opening statement, I'm not sure, about Nico Harrison. Man, he's doing a hell of a job. Nico Harrison Absolutely. gets to Dallas, starts making moves where he can in the margins, pounces at Kyrie Irving. If only there was a place that we know the star wanted Kyrie Irving. Hires Jason Kidd. If only there's a place where you know the star wanted Jason Kidd. These things, and now Clay Thompson, you can't land that plane. I'm happy for Clay, and I don't begrudge him this, but it is how many times 
are we going to hear about the Lakers being in on something and in the front office not being able to get it well, done? No, no. And if, this if one Clay should Thompson, not have been that hard. If Klay Thompson prefers going I, to Dallas over the Lakers, what's Rob Pelinka supposed to do? The, I mean, it's not like you could offer him is? a ton more money. It, it, the, right, but isn't that in some part – what the per point of a GM is to sell your team to a potential coach or a potential free agent? Is that not? But how much selling? I mean, if I'm like, look, they got well, a better shot at winning a championship a than you then, do. Then why does I don't care what you say. It's not like you can offer me twice as right, much but money. If but if it's just that's where Clay wanted to be, then why does Nico get credit? You said Nico's doing a great job. If 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 you get credit, I mean, if you then, then take away credit. No, oh, but I don't want no, to. No, but seriously, Russ all Sanger. I'm saying yeah, is if I want to go someplace no. else, I don't care what you say to me. I'm no. on my own man no. unless you can give me a bunch more money. No, I, I'm just saying I don't think you can crush Palinka. Oh, he couldn't get Clay. Clay wants to go to Dallas. Well, so again, that last part, if it is, if it were reported that from the moment when that Clay might be leaving. Golden State, that, oh, he has his eyes set on the Mavericks. That's where he's going to go. This came up quickly, I don't want to say out of nowhere, people thought the Magic were a possibility. Yeah. People thought Oklahoma City or Philly were a possibility. Something happened to where all of a sudden Dallas became his preferred destination. To me, that is a sign of a good front office. That, is that like? I don't think they the, saw, like, I, I don't think there was any magical meeting uh, where they, oh, my, really? Where Clay was like, oh, I never thought about that. Wow, thanks, yeah. Nico. You're giving me, and LeBron called him. Yeah. Lebr I mean, why aren't you looking at LeBron? LeBron couldn't land the plane. He called Clay. LeBron's not the general manager. Yeah, but he took it upon yes. himself to give him yes. a call. That's my point. Even with LeBron James' help, with Danny Hurley and with Clay Thompson, they can't get their guy. But that they, wasn't enough for Clay. They, well, well, maybe Clay would rather play with Luke and, and LeBron. No, and, I mean, and, I'm just, and, if that, and if that's all yeah. it is, so be it. The point, like, I am now of the belief, and maybe I'll be wrong. Maybe they will end up getting DeMar DeRozan. Or maybe, maybe and then everything's all fine. But I think that we are going to end up with LeBron not taking a pay cut. Because they right. don't have I, anyone I to give the money to. And that is a failure of an or that is a, an organizational failure. And so I the listen, I if Clay's number one goal is to win a championship, which I think the think Mavs are I think the Mavs with Clay are in a better position than the Lakers. They're in better Clay. position in Orlando. It, the, oh, the oh, Mavs yes. yeah, in yeah, Orlando, no, no, no. so that takes. I mean, the, may, OKC. There's an argument Philly there. Philly would have also been an interesting team. one. Philly, yeah, maybe he didn't want to go all the way east. Who knows? But the, but there were a lot of. To me, you you scoffed at it before the show, and then maybe here as well. I think that you did have a real nostalgia angle of. Michael Thompson, it being his team, that I thought w was a chip that could work in their favor. Maybe yeah. you disagreed. With I mean, that. I just I, don't think it's a. a large chip I, I think and I and I'm sure Nico is doing a great job yeah. but if, if he's like yeah I just spoke to LeBron like oh yeah did he talk to you about how he got bounced in the first round <laughs> while we were headed to the finals and we think we can go further if we have you it's like all right that's done like Clay you're about winning right you're not about you're leaving a fade a championship roster that is fading you're going to join another championship roster that's fading. It's going to try right. to fight and Absolutely. claw into the play-in. Unless and, it's a and ton of money, which he already has money. Let's not disregard human nature. If I were in Klay Thompson's shoes, I want to stick it to the Warriors. You paid Draymond. You paid Wiggins. You won't pay me. I agree with and, that and, entirely. And going to the Lakers and going out in the first and second round isn't repaying the Warriors. Going to Dallas and winning a championship, now you have one more. I'm not saying he has beef with Steph and Draymond. No. But you got one more than them now? Like, that's huge. I agree. Uh, what else? You no, I just, I, th I, just I thought for I, the sticking it to the Warriors part, that's another one that I thought was a plus for the Lakers. Over because, Dallas? Yes, because I think I look at the, the Lakers and Warriors play on Christmas. The Lakers and Warriors have played in the playoffs. The Lakers and Warriors, there is a real, I, 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 and there is a California it's more history. It's LeBron, there. Steph. Okay, Let's keep yeah, it real. Uh, oh, it's uh, true. Uh, it's agreed. Really, but, so, but I guess my point is, if you're trying to stick it to the Warriors, teaming up with 
your guy's generational rival is the sticking it to him. It's sticking it to Steph. And it's, it's yeah, right. well, I mean, no, it's, yeah, I mean, Steph, like, I don't even want to stick it to Steph. Heavyweight but, fight with no title belts on the line. It's like, what a battle. Like, where's the belts? Like, we yeah, actually Leonard don't have Durant any. three. We don't have any belts. That, yeah, yeah, no, no, that's, that's that, fair. There was no that, that's fair. It's but awesome. you understand what I mean about that those feels like a thing in a way that Warriors Mavs I, doesn't? I, I agree with that. that, 100%. that there's no Mavs Warriors Right. Now, maybe there but will be. But if they win a championship, yeah, sure. it, yeah. it'll still be. If Clay wins a championship. It's unbelievable. They, and all of a sudden, he's a guy with five. And so, Kyrie's get, ooh, does he yeah. move up? What? He, he certainly gets in that <laughs> new top 75. Right. Yeah. All right, so now let's talk about Golden State. Yeah. Splash Brothers now is strange. Clay will be wearing a Dallas jersey next time we see him. Uh, after nearly 1,000 games with the Warriors, uh, this trio, Draymond, Steph, and Clay, conclude their run. Six finals appearances, four titles, 720 six games together, okay. uh, and six most wins by a trio all time. A 718 winning percentage. Uh, are you viewing this as the official end of the Warriors? <laughs>